Hey guys, Phil Bombard here. So for today's video, I'm going to be making this little antler handled patch knife uh, forged out of a coil spring. So basically what a patch knife was, uh, was just a small utility knife uh, that would be carried by guys with muzzle loading rifles during the uh, 17, 1800s. Uh, so with those black powder rifles they had, they'd pour the powder down and then their uh, projectile would be wrapped in a cloth patch and then put down the barrel on top of the powder. So this was just something that they could use for cutting the cloth for that patching material. But basically just a utility knife. Uh, and I don't know that the term patch knife was used uh, back in antiquity. I think it might have been an uh, uh, invention of the modern era nowadays. But it's still a neat little knife and you could use it for uh, camp chores, uh, hunting, field dressing game, that kind of a thing. But uh, if you're interested in getting a knife like this, I've got a uh, Etsy web store, Blackheart Forge, where this knife is uh, currently listed for sale. But if you buy something from that Etsy web store, you'll be supporting the forge and helping me to keep doing what I do. But uh, without further ado, we'll get the forge going and I'll show you how I made this little knife.
So I've got the knife quenched and tempered. So now it's time to put the final edge on there. So that was one of these um, fresh belts and you can really, just from the, the way it was throwing sparks, you can tell it was doing a much better job than that belt that had uh, a little bit more wear on it. So now I'm going to put that same coarse belt onto the standard work shirt grinding gizmo. Start sharpening this up. So to polish the little uh, copper medallion that I'm going to be putting on the uh, the antler handle here, I got my uh, a piece of leather, and then I set my emery paper on top of that and then I can uh, I'll rub the medallion into that and then since the leather has a bit of give to it I'm able to get more of the surface area and I'm able to give it kind of a nice shiny professional looking appearance Alright, so here's a look at the finished knife. I've got a nice little uh, leather scabbard for it. With this belt loop here, it's actually going to ride kind of horizontally. I've envisioned this as kind of a, uh, a knife for a right-hander going on the left side, so it would be kind of like a, uh, a cross draw. But uh, a left-handed guy could uh, use this just as easily as well. But the, uh, after I glued everything up here, I took my uh, work sharp grinder and kind of cleaned everything up. So it's got a real nice smooth uh, transition. So uh, real nice knife overall. Just everything came together nicely. One of those things where just everything kind of went right. Feels nice is just the way that that curve of the antler is uh, kind of just fits in the in the hand there. But uh, either either hand works. But uh, I like it best in that uh, in that right hand where you kind of pinch it between your thumb and and finger, and your other fingers kind of go around it, much like a. Uh, uh, fencing foil if anybody's ever done any uh, uh, fencing. So as I was doing research for uh, patch knives I found some knives that were found in Nepal that I guess were issued to uh, some of the Gurkha warriors that were working for the British Empire. Uh, so it was kind of neat to see that uh, this idea kind of actually has some historical basis to it. So here's a look at what it would look like uh, on your belt. So I got this on my left side set up for cross draw. So. Don't look bad at all. It actually holds real tight to your body, so if you had like a coat or something over it or a, or a long shirt, it would just be uh, completely covered. If you wanted to go uh, that route, you could pull it off to the side more. But uh, yeah, just kind of a cool, uh, just a cool little knife. I'm really happy with the way this, this guy turned out. So if you're interested in getting this knife, it's going to be on my uh, Blackheart Forge web store on Etsy. So if you think you'd like to own this, go ahead and uh, check it out. I've got a link in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be more Viking.